if you look at the major issues of the day, you know, whether they be uh, school shootings, uh, climate change, uh, runaway federal deficits, or trade, none of those issues uh, are inherently partisan. If you've got a bipartisan group that sort of becomes the spirit and the soul of the discussions, then I think there's, a, there's some opportunity for suggestive leadership that, look, we, we don't always have to be wrong at the top of our voice. No one would accuse either Butch or I of being shy about expressing our disagreements on policy. We, we had a pretty spirited campaign, I think. But we always did it in a friendly, civil, even a, a warm way, uh, I would say. And, um, and so it, uh, it felt like that would send a, a good signal to Idaho and to the rest of the country of, look, we, we could have real disagreements, but uh, there's no air between us on love for this state, love for this country, and the recognition that we've got to engage our differences productively and the fact that uh, we had run against each other um, felt like that would send a strong signal that we really meant it. When I was elected as CESA's uh, lieutenant governor, um, that uh, CESA and I agreed from the get-go that uh, there were more important problems with the state in 1986 uh, than either one of our political agendas. Uh, we had our disagreements in the back office, uh, but that's where they stayed. They were not on the headlines, they were not on the first five minutes of a radio program or two of a, of a TV program, and we got along great. Uh, to the chagrin of both of our parties in some cases, I can remember uh, leadership, especially in the House, coming to me and saying, you know, you, you, you're you being way too nice to cease. You've got to be more critical of him. I said, <clears throat> you didn't elect me to be his antagonist. If you did, you got the wrong guy. We need to have our elected politicians at every level uh, looking at it from the perspective of what's best for my grandkids uh, rather than what gets me the uh, biggest headline in tomorrow's statesman or gives me a little edge in the primary I'm looking at six or eight months from now. I've always believed that the best pi uh, public policy is rendered from full knowledge of both sides and so or in some cases three sides so um, that's why I'm part of it uh, I've got great expectations because uh, I think uh, Idaho can be the model Take uh, you know, gun violence, the school shootings we have. Um, I'm a Democrat. I don't have a lot of credibility inherently because of my party with uh, most folks in Idaho on you know, how you ought to deal with guns. But Butch doesn't want his grandkids gunned down in a school any more than I want mine. Uh, and if you're going to deal with the NRA in a way with you can bring them toward the middle or you're going to deal with uh, Gabby Gifford's uh, new group on the other side. You need to have people from both parties who are trying to bring you toward the middle on a compromise solution. And you have to have legislators that once you've done that are willing to vote for it, even though it might not be their, their uh, ideal solution in, uh, uh, speaking in, uh, strictly from a partisan standpoint or from a policy vacuum.